Anarcho Kami Rapture Deity Optional by Eric Schechter. Come with me if you want to live. Part 1 Ecocide Markets are not efficient. Their prices are far from true costs, as they only consider the interests of buyer and seller and ignore harmful side effects inflicted on other parties. Those effects poison and overheat the ecosystem. When it collapses, we'll all die, even the rich. Governments are finally taking action, but too little, because the fossil fuel business says, don't touch our profits, regardless of the future. To avoid famine and extinction, we need an economic political system in which business can't buy government. Part 2. War. The military force in the novel 1984 is called the Ministry of Peace. A few months after that novel was published, the U.S. Department of War was renamed Department of Defense, making it easier for U.S.ers to believe their soldiers are the good guys in every war. But the government has lied to the public and the soldiers over and over. That's clear from documents that come out years later. One reason is that weapons sellers make big profits on war, so their lobbyists invent reasons for more so-called defense. To end war, we need an economic political system in which business can't buy government. Part 3. The Wealth Divide Money is power and influence. The only way to avoid rule by the wealthy class is to not have a wealthy class. But that requires ending markets. Here's why. Trade may seem harmless, and may even benefit both traders, but it gives greater benefit to the trader in the stronger bargaining position, thus making him stronger still, increasing inequality, creating plutocracy. And power corrupts, as the Stanford Prison Experiment proved. We need to take not only the money, but also the authoritarian hierarchy out of government. Politicians never get around to ending poverty, though it would only cost a tiny fraction of our military budget. And poverty is not the fault of the poor. There are a lot more job seekers than job openings. Soon most of us will be feeling that pinch. Automation is growing far faster than most people realize. The system will crash as it approaches the point where the only people with money to spend are the few who own all the machines. Part 4. Estrangement Separate property alienates us. You keep your stuff in your house. I keep my stuff in my house. I don't need to care about you. I can't afford to care about you. And I compete against you. Bullying, homelessness, and shootings become commonplace. Soon some lone suicidal madman may build a germ warfare lab in his basement and kill us all. Part 5. Solution We'll only be made safe by a culture of caring and sharing that leaves no one behind, so no one wants to hurt us. How would its economy work? Well, people who care for their community will produce for it whatever they can, and a community that cares for people will give them whatever they need, with no connection between those two whatevers. Marx suggested that economic system 140 years ago, but Acts 4.35 described something similar almost 2,000 years ago. This culture of kindness is no longer merely preferable. It has become absolutely necessary if we want to avoid extinction. It requires an immense cultural change that can't be forced. It's bigger than what has been called revolution. Perhaps rapture is more apt. The first step is to get more people talking about it. Let's not delay or compromise on that conversation. You can read more at leftymathprof.org.